Now that you have signed up for Connect, I'm going to show you how you're going to use it to access your ebook. So you're going to follow the link again and I'll take you directly to Connect and you won't have to log in anymore. Okay, so when I follow that link, this is what I'm taken to. And it says nothing's due today. You can look for upcoming assignments in your class page. So how you get to your class page is by clicking on classes. And we're going to go to Hume 115. As we talked about, I'm using a temporary access code. So I could either upgrade if I wanted to purchase right now or enter in my code, or I'm going to just select not right now. So in my class, I've already set up some assignments. Your instructor may not. That's fine. You can still access the e-textbook, and in fact, that's where I think it's most important for you to go. One thing I want you to notice, however, is that if you dislike reading an e-book, you can order a loose leaf, leaf copy and it will be sent to your house. It's still cheaper to get this e-book and a loose leaf copy than it is for you to pr um, purchase a printed copy. So we're trying to save you money and give you access to some cool tools. So let's look at the ebook. All you do is click on the icon and it will load up the smart book. Um, and take a little bit, which is why a good internet connection is important. Now again, notice I've got some assignments made in my class and it might yell at you, oh, you're behind. But you can, don't worry about that. In order to just get to the textbook, you can go to read. And when you go to read, it'll show you the textbook. You can change the font size by shrinking it up, making it um, bigger and smaller. A word about these highlights. Um, McGraw-Hill is using this uh, tool to um, identify what they think is most important. And so if you want to kind of skim the chapters to figure out what is most important, you can look at the yellow items first. And then um, things that they think are not as important are dimmed. If you don't want, if this is distracting to you, and I understand why it would be, you can turn all of that off by either pressing Shift H or selecting the highlight button. And then it's just a normal, it looks like a screen textbook, and you can turn this back on if you want. If your instructor has set up um, some activities such as Learn Smarts, you will, this practice button will glow in a little bit and you can access that by either selecting practice or pressing shift P. So I hope you see now that it's not that scary to have an ebook and you can get all the information you need.